Hey guys, it's your girl Brandy, aka Brandy4. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do lots of Love Island commentary, review videos. Today I'm going to be talking about Love Island USA episode 6 of season 4. But please, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe! Click the subscribe button. Please support your girl Brandy4 because I'm always coming out with Love Island videos. Oh, so let's get into it. So yeah, I feel like this season so far, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bored. If I'm being honest, I thought I was going to be like more into the season. It's not giving the vibes that season two and season three of USA gave for some strange reason. I don't know. I'm not really connecting with the Islanders. For I don't know, like they're just not that interesting to me right now maybe that will change but right now the only islander that i'm actually like entertained by is zita if we're being honest and she's not even from the usa she's from uk so yeah americans we need to step it up <laughs> right now uk season is very strong at the moment i don't know i'm losing interest so they need to do something and they need to do something fast but Otherwise, new guy Tyler comes into the villa. Tyler, aka Tarzan, um, he has beautiful hair. His body kind of reminds me of Drake's, if you know what I mean. But otherwise, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. And he's expressed interest in Val and Serenity. He has like the most interest in, even took them out on dates and whatnot. And Last episode, we saw that Val basically confronted Jesse for kind of saying the same thing to both her and Debbie. Jesse was basically saying to the both of them that he finds them most attractive and that he's connecting with them the most. Um, basically saying the same thing to them, just playing them right off the bat. I did not like how Jesse did that. I was just messed up, to be honest. Like, why didn't you just be straight up? You basically she blatantly just lied to her face lied to val's face and was like yeah like i'm connecting with you more literally val finds out that he's been saying the same thing to debbie so what does val do she goes like back to him and confronts him like um can you please like let me know the truth and then he i feel like he just chickened out i personally think that he still wasn't sure and i feel like he should have just said that to be honest but no and said he chickened out and was like actually i'm into debbie and then made Val look like an idiot because basically Val wasn't getting to know anyone else besides Jesse. So basically wasted her time, wasted her time. And I'm actually kind of annoyed by that because I actually liked Val. I thought she was a cool girl. So yeah, I feel like Jesse really messed up big time and he's my least favorite right now, if I'm being honest. But yes, otherwise, so yeah, Tyler went on a date with Serenity and Val. He really connected with Serenity. Um, they seemed like they were bouncing off of each other. They were a lot of jokes flying um, and yeah, just good vibes overall. Um, you already know I'm rooting for my girl Serenity, so I'm actually glad that someone is finally like expressing interest in her instead of just friend zoning her like automatically the recoupling happens and tyler had to choose between the two girls and he fortunately chose serenity shout out to serenity however it was sad because val ended up being dumped from the island all because of jesse if we're being honest and that's really annoying all because jesse just wasn't straight up with her if Jesse was straight up with Val. Val would have definitely gotten to know Isaiah and I feel like they would have coupled up. They would have been together. But no, Jesse wasted her time basically. So yeah, I definitely feel bad for Val. And Jesse is like my least favorite at the moment if I'm being honest. Like he really played her for no reason. For Debbie. I don't know. Is it just me? I like Val over Debbie, just saying. But I digress. I guess that's his type. But then, yeah, otherwise, in this episode, you see Andy and Sydney, they're connecting more, getting along more. I actually like this for Sydney, especially after the way Isaiah treated her um, towards the beginning. 
because he was into Val more than Sydney, he kind of just like played Sydney in the way like he was just mad disrespectful. Like they had some sort of disagreement and then Isaiah was talking mad crap to Val about Sydney and I did not like that at all. That was very fake. But then after Val chose Jesse over him, that's when he wanted to, you know, switch back and try to act like he was into Sydney the entire time. So I'm glad Sydney saw the red flags within that and left him, to be honest, and started to pursue someone else. And Andy was definitely more into Sydney than Isaiah was into her. So I'm glad she finally did that. Also, um, I don't really, I don't know, Andy's not like, I would say my favorite person, but yeah, I mean, gotta give it up to the guy. He's finally connecting with someone. After Courtney basically pied him in the first episode and whatnot, like he hasn't really connected with anyone. So I'm glad that, yeah, they finally, he's finally connecting with Sydney. And so yes, the recoupling happens and Basically, Andy chose Sydney over Maddie. Originally, Andy and Maddie, they were coupled up with each other because Maddie had chosen Andy. And of course, Isaiah was coupled up with Sydney. So yes, Isaiah was definitely pissed about that. You could tell by his face, he was livid, child. But honestly, it is what it is. He should have treated Sydney better and he was kind of fake towards her. So I'm actually not that mad about it, if I'm being real. But yeah, you can see from next episode's preview, Maddie is kind of upset. She's just like, um, yeah, I'm not about to be anyone's second choice. So this is done. This is romantic, whatever is done. We're not doing this anymore to Andy. She was basically saying this. So yeah yeah we see next episode tomorrow's episode two new people are coming into the villa a guy and a girl and they're both black so lit but they're siblings so that's very interesting it's not like they're twins too they're dead like different ages like the girl is older than her brother it's so weird like i'm actually curious as to how this is gonna happen i feel like this is very weird especially like you know it gets very frisky in the bedroom at times like when people are hooking up and whatnot so imagine they're just like hooking up with someone and then just the thought of your sibling is like a few beds yeah that's weird <laughs> I find that a little weird to be honest. Ain't gonna hold you, but we'll see how this goes. The girl's cute though. I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember her name. I'll remember her name later, but yeah. Interesting episode. Yeah, very upset that Val left. I feel like she was kind of the entertainment so far. So I'm going to see who else can like bring the drama, bring the energy that we need. Cause right now I'm not feeling the energy right now. I'm not feeling it. They need to do a little better. They need to bring season three energy. They're not really bringing it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, let me know how you feel about Val being dumped from the island. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do lots of Love Island USA reviews and UK reviews as well. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> bye.